Hello everybody and welcome back to the Build the Enterprise D series, a series of videos in which I go through the Hero Collector, Build the Enterprise D and build it up stage by stage. Last time we covered quite a bit, um, we got a few more saucer panels done, we got some more done to the little um, battle bridge section, so I anticipate um, issue 8 is going to be much of the same. We're covering stages 27 through to stage 30 here and just after an initial look at it it is just more saucer section panels and more little bits to build up that battle bridge but by the end of it we should have something quite exciting so let's delve straight in to part 27 or stage 27 and it says start by illuminating more of the saucer section and then add a base to the battle section neck build so what we've got here straight away we've seen this plenty of times it's another deck panel so last issue i mentioned that i had one particular problem with one of the deck panels not sitting flush um it was pretty easily solved but it was just a matter of having some patience and making sure everything was screwed in correctly um so if you are having difficulties that's very much the case um that might be the case for you just you know take it slowly have a bit of patience with it and don't be afraid to step away and try again later um so what we're doing we're just popping the um i think these are the escape pods I keep always say like I kept on saying shuttle bear last time. Now these are escape pods, but we're just popping them in there, and then we're gonna take the windows. You can see here, so it's one, two, three um, white windows and three black windows. Two, three, one, two. Three and go one, two, three. So I'm actually um kind of on the lookout to get like a sort of desk mat for doing this stuff on, and actually just for more general use anywhere. Um, but I would like to get a custom one. Um, you know, one kind of maybe with like the channel branding on. Like we've got the little mascot, which is um, you know me uh but cosplaying osaka from evangelion because that's like my primary cosplayer right now um i do like a male version of osaka so i wouldn't mind getting like a little um desk mat that shows that off uh, which i think would be pretty nice um but let's just be on the lookout until then i will have to start putting something down here because even if just for the noise i can create but uh, yeah, what we're doing here, we're just using the set of tweezers to pop the window panels in. We've seen it in several videos before, but if you are a newcomer to these videos, uh, hello. Um, I'm not an expert at this. There are probably channels that are better than me at this. I actually miscounted the windows there, so I need one more. Um, this is kind of like a first time build for me. So... Maybe there will be mistakes along the way, but we can always correct them. It's kind of what happened with the last one. There were a few little issues. Um, the battle bridge section, I forgot to uh, ease up one of the cables. Right, I forgot to tuck away one of the cables. And there were just a few little light things in um, on the saucer section. But it all got resolved. You know, that's kind of the point of this. You know, we're not infallible when we make these things. So, we've got the last window in place. And what we want to do now, right, we want to make sure we've got a BM screw um, to hand. So what we want to do now, bearing in mind that the windows from the last step are not fixed in place, carefully position a deck panel on the larger saucer assembly as shown. The panel will be fully secured later on, but for now hold it in place with one BM screw. Yeah, so what's going to happen here is we're going to fit this to the saucer panel. We're going to secure it with one screw, but then we've got to be mindful that it's not fully secure uh, because we'll be fitting LEDs um, down below. So let me just pop out the one BM screw we need. 
And what I'll do is I'll just seat that. What I tend to do with the screws is I kind of prepare them in advance, so I kind of seat them on the screwdriver like that. And that just helps me, when this is in place, um, kind of screw it straight in. So let's get the saucer section. So there's our lovely saucer section. As you can see, it's a bit of a tangled mess of wires right now. But what we want to do, we want to very, very, very carefully take our panel. Now, this is one of the first times I've actually done this on camera. I don't normally do this step on camera. But I thought, seeing it's quite a simple one, we'll give it a go. Uh, it's also because I can't really get the leverage on the desk um, properly. But what we want to do, we want to just get that seated in like that and you see that's nice and seated in there then we take the screwdriver and where it's said we just secure that in place so that get that nice and tight so that is in but that is not fully secure so word of warning don't go pushing it about or anything, you go throwing it about, it's delicate. So what we're going to do now, we're going to turn the page. Now it says, take the deck panel light, 27F, plug the bulb. So we've got our deck panel light, there it is. Take the bulb at the end, Sometimes the way they um, him these diagrams always confuses me because now the things rotated around a bit. Um, yeah, that is right. Let's double check something. Yeah, yeah, that is correct. So making double checking, I'm actually correct here. Um, so what we want to do, we want to get the one that is closest, uh, the blue and so that's the blue and red one. And pop that. Hopefully you can see that. We pop that in. Easier said than done because this thing... Obviously now that I've screwed it down, it's a bit more flush to the uh, to the saucer. Ah, yes, I see. So what we want to do... So the other thing to keep an eye on with this is your... Um, how you wire this thing. See, that doesn't want to slide under because it's um, annoying. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to just loosen it. Just loosen it a little bit. Just enough so we can actually get that under get that through. And we're going to tighten it back up. Hopefully, now that's uh, knocked some of the windows, it looks like. Uh, just the one. Shuttlecraft one. Uh, escape pod. I said shuttlecraft again. But either way, we've got that through. I'll quickly, I can sort that just off camera. This is more for illustrative purposes. What we want to do, we want to thread that through. That little LED there. And then that one. So we've threaded it. So what we've done, we've put the um, red and blue one in there, and we're taking the yellow and black one, and we want to do the same thing here. Of our again, probably need to loosen it just a touch, just enough, but we can get the panel in. We 
want to tighten it up again. And I can tell that that's not flush, that's not sitting flush to the other saucer. Uh, that's something I'll have to solve just off camera. But that's kind of what we should be aiming for. And the problem is, is that it's just like, you know, a bit awkward and fiddly. But you can see it's not fully sitting flush. So that's just going to be a bit of... Uh... The other thing as well is when you tighten the other BM screws, it'll um, sit it a bit better. Um, so you've got to take that into account as well. That'll actually pull it more flush towards the um, towards the thing. So what we've got now, what we want to do, we want to get the BM screws for each corner. So we'll start here. We'll just start with that one. And that's, see that's already, I can feel underneath, that's already pulled it a bit more flush. So we'll repeat the process for the others. Let's move that out of the way. See, that's very much a similar case. That one's pulled it a bit more flush. Now we've got this one. So what I actually think... Um, So that one's still not sitting quite as flush. I think I already know why. I think this is probably in a bit too much now, uh, this LED. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pull that out off camera. Um, and then that should sit that a bit more flush. So be back in just a second, so I can actually get a good grip of this. So as with anything that I think is gonna be more complicated than it is, it took about two seconds to do that. It was literally just a case of unscrewing one thing pulling the LED out a little bit, and then it's now sitting nice and flush. So we've got all of the BM screws in there now. The next step is to take some EM screws and just attach it to the panel directly below it. So we've got our EM screws now. What I'm hoping is, because uh, I record this on my phone, so obviously it's a very small screen for me. I am hoping that, you know, whatever you choose to watch this on, it actually, you can actually see what's going on here. Um, I haven't had any complaints so far. That's either a good thing, because no one is uh, bothered, or it's a bad thing, because no one's watching. Um, if you are watching, thank you. If you're not watching, then what's the point of me saying anything to you? Uh, so we need four screws here. Du, 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 du. Let's just move that across a bit. Could do with one of those proper top-down, you know, cameras where I you know that the people have for showing off stuff like this. Do like like a multiple camera setup. Um, I was actually thinking about that earlier, having like a multiple camera setup, because one of the things that I kind of would like to do, maybe when I reach certain milestones on this, is do the video in cosplay. Um, you know, it would be cool to uh, do this video in my um, Deep Space Nine slash First Contact uniform. But then, at the same time, it's like... You don't get to see me in these videos. And that's kind of like 
I don't know. It's a, it's a weird thing to think about when I started doing these videos, because part of the thing I wanted to do is just make the videos about, kind of, me showing off whatever it is I want to show off. But also, I realised there is something for appearing on camera from time to time as well. And if I was going to cosplay, because I am a cosplayer, I'm not a great one, but I do cosplay. I would like to do, like, you know, marked special occasion ones with, like, me and cosplay. Um, but it's a bridge we can come to in the future. So there we go. That is now on. That feels nice. Um, so the next bit will be more of... Um, I'm not quite sure where the next bits will be, but I'm sure we'll find out. So let's continue on. Finish off this stage. So the next part of the stage seems pretty easy. I need to go get the battle bridge. So there she is. There's the battle section. And what we want to do, remove the battle section neck build, place the battle section floor across the left and right neck brackets, and fix it in using five BM screws. So, there we go. So we got all the BM screws. So there's all five of them there. Scoop that up. One. Two. So as I always get to in these videos, um, how's everyone else doing? If you're building this, how's your build coming along? Uh, please do let me know. I do keep seeing comments from time to time, people saying they've started this, it's coming along or whatever. So please do tell me, I'm really interested in seeing how other people's builds are coming along. Or if you're building one of the other Eagle Moss things, they, they seem to do a hell of a lot. They do like um, the Dorian, I've seen them do like a Ghostbusters one. Um, so please do, let me know if you're building this one or any of the others, how it's going. Um, you know, what do you think so far? Have you had any issues with it? Has it been smooth sailing so far? Right, that is in. Okay. So we've got our battle bridge bit. Okay, so the next bit, a bit of a weird one to kind of do now, but apparently what it wants us to do Just take the bulbs and slot them into the holders on the rear neck. Which seems like an odd step to do now, but alright, we'll take your word for it. I don't know why it's asking suddenly for us to do that stage now, but... Yeah, I guess. That one's in. Ok, 
presume that in the next stage or whatever, something's going to happen that's going to lock these into place. This isn't really sitting nicely in them. But okay. I guess that's in as best we can get. Alright, that's the end of stage 27. So I will join you again shortly for stage 28. So welcome back for stage 28. So what we've got here is another section of the saucer um, assembly. It's another, it's that upper section. So um, we'll just quickly build it and then I'll attach it to the saucer. So this is one of them parts. Um, we had issues with in the previous one, this upper saucer um, assembly with it not sitting flush. Hopefully one of the same issues here, but it is very possible. There is also another part to stage 28, which goes onto the battle bridge, but they actually say to save that for um, the next stage, stage 29. So I had to very quickly just build this up. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three lights. So get the black one there. So one, two. Three and four. So super, super easy. This um, didn't take half as long to do these anymore as it used to, especially when I didn't have the tweezers. I got one. Two. And three. So yeah, earlier on in the video I was talking about potentially cosplaying while they're doing this. If I reach like a special milestone, like say we get to the end of, um, I don't know, doing the uh, saucer section. Maybe I could do that in the uniform. So what we're doing here, we're taking the one light. I always bend it like that just so it'll get a bit of grip, um, which makes it easier to place onto the actual... Um, panel assembly. He says that now and it clearly isn't working. Now let's get that over a bit more. Cool. Right, so that's now over. It's in place. Let's just pop that on. Oh, it's not fully in. There, that is now fully in. It's moving a little bit. But what we want to do now, we want to get our DM screws. I didn't prep these beforehand like I normally do. It's all going wrong now with them, actually. Yeah. Let's talk about how I got a bit of confidence doing this, and then it's all just like no. Can't be complacent with building the uh, Starship Enterprise. And why should you be? You know, the Enterprise is the flagship of the Federation. You can't be complacent building it. You know, what would Picard say? What would Picard say if, you know, he went to one room one night, one set of quarters, and the wallpaper wasn't as he wanted it to be? You know, if he got to the... If he went to 10 forward, and it had wasn't complete, it was only, like, you know... Good enough to be nine forward. He's not going to be happy with that, is he? Riker, Riker would be happy with it. Riker strikes me as a, you know, I've bought the furniture from IKEA, and it's not perfect. I've I've tried to put it together. Um, some of it's a bit wonky, but that's okay. That's what Riker, Riker would be fine with that. But Picard, Picard would read the instructions beforehand. 
and then he'd read the instructions again and then he'd build the cabinet and he'd be happy with it at the end and he'd make sure you know, he'd have a spirit level he'd have the whole lot um and then q would come along and mess it up for him as q would he'd turn his cabinet into a into a cactus or something you know as q is wont to do um there we go all lights are in they're sitting nice the escape pods are there so what we're going to do is i'm going to attach it to the saucer section now so I'll see you in a moment. Welcome back. So we've got that panel on now. It was pretty easy to secure actually. And it sits nice and flush along with the rest of it. So just to kind of pull that out. You can see just how much of this ship we have actually done now. Uh, we've built up quite a bit. That must be over a quarter of it done uh, for the saucer. Well for the top of the saucer anyway. So that is stage 28 complete. Um, thankfully, quite a simple step. Um, so we'll come back for step 29. And welcome back to stage 29. This looks like it's not the heftiest of stages, but it looks like there's quite a bit to this one. Um, so we've got... We're building another saucer section panel, although we're not attaching it to the saucer this time round. But then we are working on this thing from the previous stage, which goes on to the battle bridge, or battle section. So stage 29 looks like it's quite a big stage. Uh, we're going to build up the panel. We're just going to do a fade and fade out for that. We're not going to worry too much. But then we're going to have a look at a bit more depth at this battle section. So I'll see you in a moment once this panel's built. Welcome back. We've created the panel, it was really, really easy. It's just your typical saucer section panel. Now we move on to something which seems a little bit different and a little bit scarier. Uh, it probably won't be, but uh, let's just give it a go, shall we? So we're retrieving the left ventral neck panel supplied with stage 28, and we want to slot the left ventral neck reflector panel into position on the underside. Then we want to install the lights as shown and secure the two AP screws. So this is the reflector panel. And as you can see, well, you, you might not be able to because it's quite small, but the windows and that are already on this. So there's no need for me to add them in. What we're going to do, it should just slot in. And it slots in very nicely like that. So the next stage which seems a little bit um, maybe fiddly again. What we've got is the cabling for it. Let's move these off. These are spare parts. So we've got this wire here. And what we want is to take the LEDs, as we have been throughout most of this build, I want to slot this one in here. So what we probably want to do is we want to get the LEDs in before we actually start to do anything with it. Maybe. In fact, yeah, let's, uh, let's work on this first. That's not, doesn't want to sit in at all, that one. But it could just be that these slot in quite nicely. And that one, it's just a very, very small bit. Oh, that doesn't want to fit in at all, jeez. So what we might want to do here, let's do it maybe one at a time. Yep, yeah, so that's one done. Okay, so there we go, they're in, a bit easier than expected. But what we want to do now, we want to screw it down the AP screws I 
Let's quickly get them. Two AP screws. Very delicate with this. So one. One is in. And the other one is also in. So they've kind of came through there. And the next step is asking us to do, and it actually asked us to do this with the, um, well, that's good, isn't it? Whole thing just kind of came apart there. It actually asked us to do this with the um, escape pods in the previous one. Secure it down with some tape. That means the bulb will remain in place there. There we go. So what it says now, bend the housing of the bulb at the end. So just like that. So that part is now done. So the next part is to retrieve the housing for the battle bridge. Looks like we're going to have to do some threading here again. God knows how you uh, do that. So retrieve your battle section neck assembly. Just move stuff out of the way so we can maybe get this on camera a bit better. So there it is. So retrieve your battle section neck assembly. Thread both sets of left neck panel lights through the left neck bracket as shown before plugging them into the PCB. So what we want to do, okay, so that doesn't seem too bad, but what we want to do, we want to take the top one here, through there, like that, then it'll come down, come out through this one. And that one will slot into here. Into this fine little, I'll tell you what, I'll bring that closer now because I know that I can Right. that will fit into the PCB there so we've got one one of them in and the other one doesn't seem half as complicated so hopefully you can see what I'm doing I mean the phone does record at a pretty decent thing so what we'll do is we'll grab it with these. There we go, right. And that. Bring it forward again. Make sure my entire workspace is clear. Okay. Right, and those are in. So what we got now is these lights work. So not too bad actually, that wasn't too complicated. Next bit however, um, <laughs> next bit makes me nervous. I say it makes me nervous as if you know, life in general doesn't make me nervous. Me saying something makes me nervous doesn't really mean much. Okay, but you know Maybe justification for it in this case, because this bit looks like it's going to be quite tricky. Actually, no, do you know what? That looks like it could be okay. So what we want to do now... We want to take this bit... And 
and we do actually want to plug it into here. Okay, so this is going to be not tricky, but So we've got that in, let me just do a quick test. Oh. Yep, that's fine. That is in. So the next step in this Endeavor. We can see, yeah. It's to work out how to graph this onto there. So what I'm going to do, um, there's also a little step to get like a little thing here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to pull this off the desk and uh, handle a bit more. So we'll come back when it's on. We're back just for the end of this particular stage, so let me just finish screwing in these last two screws. And then we'll show off this section so far. So we've got one more screw to put in. Again, it was a bit, um, bit awkward, but nothing that we couldn't really tackle. Though I have made one mistake on one of the screws, so. Yeah, bear with me just a second. I've put a BM screw in here when it should have been an AP screw. Thing with this once the screws in you can't really get them fully out. There we go. Right. Let's get the two AP screws there. One and two. And this should wrap up stage 29. So you can see now we've got most of the um, stuff in place. We've got some of the, like the wires kind of nice and secured behind the inside the framework. I'm concerned about how to tuck the wires away when it gets to the latter half of it, but I'm just gonna. It's always that thing. Follow the instructions, and everything will work out fine. So. Stage 29 is now complete. We've got one more stage to go, but let's take a look at it as it is. So this is our Cobra head. So as we can see, all the lights are there and working. We've still got the blinking light there. But what we've got now, we can see that that is now flashing red. Got the strobe flashing red there. And along there, we've got these lights working as well. And we've got the other lights doing nothing right now. So there we have it. That's uh, stage 29 complete. We'll go on to stage 30, get that one done very quickly because it's just another saucer panel bit. And then we can wrap up this video. So I've actually just double checked there and stage 30 is literally just this page here. It's just putting together 
another panel. So that one, um, I'm opening the bags right now for it, but it's just putting the panel together. So I can show that off, have a bit of a uh, rambling chat while doing so, and then wrap up the video. Uh, being a good one, this one actually. Um, none of the frustration of uh, the last video was in there. Everything just kind of seemed to go together nicely. Everything worked. Uh, let's see what the next pack brings, which will be stages 31 through 35, I think it'll be. 31, 32, 33, 34, 34. Yeah, because I can count. Um, but I presume we're going to finish off, well, do more of that um, saucer panel bracket. Uh, saucer panel bracket, Jesus. Battle bridge um, section. Maybe finish off the left-hand side, I'm not sure. So what we got? We've got more of these little things here. Um, so yeah, I hope you've been enjoying the video um, and the videos in general. I've been really enjoying making them. Uh, little frustrations aside, as I keep saying, but it's been a lot of fun putting this thing together. Uh, you know, fair play. There's been a few little hiccups here and there. I needed replacement parts, had to, uh, you know, take a few days off because of frustration, but by and large, you know, a good job done. I mean, obviously you've got to factor in how much this thing costs, and I, I'm i not the right person to really answer, is it worth, is it worth it, you know, cost-wise, because, you know, you're paying a hell of a lot for this. There's a lot of intricate detail and parts, and you can tell it's been really well put together. I'm not the right, you know, so... It really depends on how much enjoyment you get out of it. It's like buying a video game, you know, for, you know, you see how much they are nowadays, and you think, is the amount of enjoyment I'm getting out of this going to justify the cost? But then you've also got to think, how much work went into preparing it as well? You know, I can imagine a lot of work went into this, you know, from the prototyping, setting up the instructions, making the parts themselves... Then on top of that, you know, marketing and stuff like that. It probably didn't cost them, you know, it wasn't cheap for them either. But, you know, it's conversations well above my level. Stuff I really know nothing about, so I probably should mention it. Um, but no, this has been a fun video to record. It's been quite light, quite easy to do seen some good noticeable progress it's always the worst thing when i've done some of this and some of the progress hasn't been noticeable but i feel that with every video now it's sort of showing more and more the progress of it all and i really i'm very excited to get to that point where we can um finish off the top of the saucer section i think they mentioned uh, about stage 55 so it's a couple of months off for now. But as long as we're doing other little bits and pieces alongside it, I don't mind. And figure every video now is going to be one or two more panels on the saucer section and also building up that cobra head battle section. But this is a. Uh, we're just getting into the nice, sort of chill, relaxing part of this model now. Or well, this video now. Oh, part where I knock the uh, camera as well, apparently. Let's get all these in first, and then... I'm actually recording this in the morning for a change, which is a mistake because I forgot to have breakfast, so I'm actually really hungry. So I'm actually looking forward to finishing this one and making some food. But yeah, like... Yeah. 
I keep asking you know, how other people finding this. Have these videos actually been useful for anyone as well? Uh, well? I've always maintained I'm a new person for this, so maybe it's like an exercise in what not to do at points. Tell you what, let's fast forward through the rest of these. Okay, there we go. That's that done. So now it's just a matter of taking the back panel, taking the LED, doing what we normally do, wrapping it around. Let's get the BP screws ready as well. Two and three. Brilliant. That's down. Screw number one. Screw number two. My massive hand completely obscuring the processor. It's a screw. You no, I don't think we really need to go too much into that. But, uh, Screw number three. It's in. There we go. That's a panel done. We keep hold of that. For a later stage. Another video done. Thank you all very much for watching as always. Please do leave your comments below. Please do like the video. If you think anyone will be interested, please do share it. Check me out on social media and support me any way you can. And I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.